I rise to speak on the Indian Institute of Information Technology Laws Amendment Bill 2020. We support the bill, which brings five triple ITs as instead of national importance significance, Surat, Bhopal, Bhagalpur, Agartala, and Raichur. We have some suggestions, sir. One is the distribution is quite lopsided. We have Gujarat, Maharashtra, UP, MP, which have two triple ITs. But many states like Punjab, Odisha, Chhattisgarh, Goa, Arunachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Meghalaya, Mijoram, they have none. So there should be equal distribution of triple ITs, which uh, maybe you can have, you have scope of five more triple ITs, which is coming up. You include the same. So there is very slow progress of the triple ITs, and the dual degree course is still not done. The spending on the infrastructure is not available. The campuses are also temporary. Like, for example, Trichy and Raichur, they have temporary campuses. The funding needs to be increased. And uh, I'll come to the basic points, sir, on information technology, since I have a background in information technology. There are two big challenges. One is the employment issue, and second is the employability issue. When I talk about the employment issue, let me tell you, sir, there are about 10 lakh engineers from private engineering colleges who are lying unemployed. And around 15 to 20 percent in IITs, they still don't have campuses. This is a big problem. I will explain you a bit why this is happening. The information technology in India, they started with a global development model, which was basically on cost arbitrage with the Naran Murthy's, the Wipro's and all, because we used to provide cheap labor in comparison to other developed countries, our IT picked up. But what happens, slowly they started inducting more and more people, the quality of the education in the engineering colleges, like I was a manager myself, when I used to interview people to recruiting in my institute, they never understood concept of physics or maths, forget about any other engineering concept. And premier institutes, they spend 5% of the revenue to train the engineers who have been graduated from premium engineering colleges. This is something which we've been struggling day in, day out. I'll give you some statistics, sir. Don't, don't go into statistics. You make your last point. I, I'm coming, sir. Give me some time, sir. No, there's no time. You know, Two minutes. Already. Okay, let me. Sir, 80 percent of Indian engineers are not minister, fit for any job in knowledge economy. I would request the minister to give you a special audience so that you can explain the issue relating to this context. Do you have a demand? Yes. I don't. I, I want to help the government to solve the problem which we are in crisis. Give the your, information. I'm saying. Give your last point. Yeah, I'm saying, sir, give me one minute, I'll complete. One sir, information technology is something which we are just trying to solve the crisis that we're in. We are not into cost arbitrage or anything because AIs, the machine learnings, the IOTs, the blockchains, we are not able to compete with other developed nations. We have countries like Vietnam and other Malaysia and all which are competing with India because that cost arbitrage is no more anything. We need to develop the curriculum. We need to change the colleges. We need to align these colleges with the industry because currently what is happening is that... Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Mr. With this, I'd like to say, sir, we support the bill, but unless until you involve the industry in the technical education, Thank we can't you. succeed and you take, think rationally, now, sorry, try Gireesh to Papath. improve the... <coughs> Thank you.